Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, here to show you an app called Sharefire, which I wrote with my colleague Dan Kessler. Um, it's a news aggregator written for Adobe Air, which makes it very easy to share articles across uh, several social networks, including AIM. Um, here's a quick rundown of its features. Um, we have a typical three-paned view um, where we can view you know, all the unread um, posts. And you know you can click in this top pane here, and they and they load below. You can see that they load in, um, in a nice HTML view. Um, you can also switch to uh, let me find a good one here. Um, switch to the, the site tab here, and it'll actually load the site down here instead of just the summary. So you can view the whole site. It's a little bit scrunched up right now because um, I have the app um, smaller than I normally would. Um, but uh, Go back to the post summary. Over here we have categories, which are expandable. The green glow you hear you see is um, showing me that there were posts updated since the last time I expand the folder. Um, we also have um, an accordion pane with some different views of, uh, of our data here. So this is the feed view with the categories, and then we have um, something called smart topics, which are topics that you can define yourself that you're interested in. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in iPhone, you can create an iPhone category, and then, um, you know, you, when you click on it, all the articles that you see uh, will have the term iPhone in it. Um, and you create a new smart topic down here. Um, it's kind of neat. It's like if you are interested in Kindle or something, you type, uh, you know, give it a title, give it a um, some keywords. You can put as many in here as you want. You can test them out to see if it matches uh, properly and then save it and now you have a smart topic here where you can um, find uh, posts on specific topics that you're interested in. Um, there's also an author's view so this is kind of cool you can um, just go through um, all your posts uh, by author rather than by feed um, so for instance if you're interested in you know Cory Doctorow uh, and this is all done automatically you don't have to set set these authors up. This is parsed out of the feeds and, and done automatically for you. Um, it's also, we also have another automatically generated view based on topics. So um, if you're interested in, you know, Web 2.0 or Sony, this is all parsed out of the, uh, the various feeds for you. So it's kind of a nice way to, to view your data because um, typically you have so many of these feeds that, uh, you know, you kind of need a more efficient way to, um, to view them. Um, we have some uh, some options up here, um, you know, for adding feeds, refreshing, um, marking them as red. Um, you can switch into full screen view if you want, which I'm not going to do because it'll mess up the video. But um, and there's also a, a search here, so let me go back to all in red. And um, if I search for, I don't know, maybe uh, something about cameras, you can see it's a it's a real time search. Um, so I want want to just look for some articles quickly on the Kindle or something, I can do that. Um, you can also, you know, you can check stories here and then it'll put them in this checked category which enables you to find them again quickly later. Let me open up the settings uh, dialog here. Um, so you can, you know, set your update interval, um, you can change your language. So uh, let me actually give you a demo of this. This is pretty cool, it changes it in real time. So if I want to um, change it to Japanese here. You can see the everything's been updated into Japanese, uh, which doesn't do me very much good. So I'll switch back to English. And uh, uh, we support several languages, by the way. I actually don't don't remember how many, but quite a lot of languages. So um, useful for international uh, readers. Um, you can uh, occasionally we update the application, add new features, so you can change the update interval um, or the interval. Uh, at which the application checks for updates. Um, you can set up notifications for smart topics or for all feeds. It'll show a little um, sort of growl-like notification. Um, on Mac and on Windows, it does more of a um, sort of a toast type um, experience. On Linux, it's actually closer to, uh, to Mac. Um, you can choose where you want it to appear. Um, import and export OPML. Um, AOL Instant Messenger. Actually, I'll, I'll show you this in action in a minute, but um, this enables you to share articles via AIM. You can also share via um, via email here, which actually I don't have set up, so I'll set that up. Um, and then Twitter as well.
So let me actually show you that that in action here. So let me find something I'm interested in, like um, let's see, find a uh, you know some kind of good news article here. Maybe something from the Air team. Um, Air 1.5.1 released. If I want to share this article, I can right click on it. And um, if I want to share it with someone in my AIM network, I can just go to AIM and choose someone here, and it'll automatically um, IM it to them. Um, you can optionally, if you want to, in the AIM tab here, uh, you can have it configured so that you use a custom message. If you don't have this checked, when you select a name, it just sends it off to them automatically. If you have this checked, it'll give you a chance to add a custom message before it sends the IM. Um, you can also share via Twitter. You can just type something out here, and it'll automatically um, reduce the URL for you. And um, you can also share via you know several different uh, mechanisms located here, um, you know such as Facebook and uh, Delicious and um, Dig and Newsvine and various other services here. Um, we also just added recently an option to. Um, have the, uh, let me get this icon into view here so you guys can see it, the number of unread posts, which you can see here in the icon, which is kind of handy. I have quite a few. I have a lot of reading to do today. Um, those are those are pretty much the, the main features. There's also a lot of other uh, small features sort of hidden throughout the application, but it's pretty functional and very good for sharing. Um, it's available at uh, sharefirereader.com. The source code is also available. It's uh, it's on Google Code. It's all open source, and all the libraries that it uses are all open source. Um, so if you want to see how it's written, feel free to check out the source code um, or add features of your own or fix bugs, uh, whatever you want to do. Thank you very much.